Oh, what's up everybody? I'm Matt Gary and on this very special 20th episode of Coding with the Force, I'm going to show you how to shower your salespeople with confetti and how to play audio for them they definitely didn't ask you to play and probably don't want to listen to. All right, guys, so um, just like with every video, I'm going to tell you why you would care to build this thing that I'm going to show you how to build. Um, but the answer to that is there's really no reason <laughs> to necessarily build this. Um, you know, theoretically, you could have a real low sales morale or something, and you want to just make everybody feel special or appreciate it I, I don't know maybe you just you just want to have some fun which is why I'm making this video right now because I needed a break from the serious ones so um, basically I'm gonna show you how to <laughs> how to make it a an audio file play uh, and how to make confetti go across the screen in the instance that you know somebody does a real good job and closes an opportunity so we'll check this out um, and uh, let's just see if this works. I only tested it a couple times, so. Yo quiero taco bell. That's it. Okay, so. It's pretty simple to set this up. Um, Salesforce is giving you things to do this um, that make it super easy and basically just configuration. Um, but I'll go over all that. So, <laughs> all right, so if you want to do this, if you're just trying to have a fun time, want to spend 15 minutes and throw this on a page and tell somebody I, I built a thing that's cute and fun, um, let me show you how to do it. So. <laughs> The first thing that you'll do, uh, if you've never done it before, is this is called a path. Um, and to make the confetti go uh, across the screen without having to write code anyway, um, you can create a path that has celebrations. So let me show you that guy first. Uh, we'll go into here and type in path and put path settings, you know, or click the path settings link rather. And I've got this uh, wonderful opportunity path, but um, we'll create a new one and I'll walk you through the steps here. So I'll call this the op path two. And um, obviously you can call that whatever you want. And I'm gonna put this on the opportunity object, uh, which I can't do because I've already got one on there. So let me just go deactivate this thing real quick so that I can show you how this works. Just gonna delete it. Cool. We'll make a new opportunity path. <laughs> and we'll obviously click the opportunity object and you can put it on specific record types, which is cool. Um, and for this, we're gonna do exactly what I just showed you, which is the uh, uh, opportunity close one. Uh, this section here, we're gonna ignore um, but basically it allows you to guide your salespeople through your path if you're interested in doing that. Um, some other video I'll go into paths a little more in depth, but there's not a whole lot to them, honestly. Uh, and then you'll activate your path, you'll enable celebrations, and then because you picked the um, uh, stage field, it wants to know, you know which pick list values do you care about. We only care about closed one, so let's go there. And then you can have your celebration frequency, um, you know, kind of random or always happen. And uh, for me, I want it to always happen. I want to see that beautiful confetti fall. So we've got um, this opportunity pad set up. Cool. And um, so that's that's part one. That's the, the easy part of the confetti audio combination so now that we've set up our confetti which is really just that celebration thing you can see very simple um, let me show you how to set up the audio 
So there's um this wonderful this wonderful trailhead here that allows you to add sound effects to your Salesforce org. Now, technically, you could build this on your own. It's not all that complicated of a um, uh, unmanaged package that Salesforce has built with just a little lightning web component in it. That uses the audio object um, in JavaScript to play some audio for you. But this makes it even easier because you don't have to do all the work and set up the custom metadata and write the code. So um, within here, and I'll put this link in the video description as well, there is a manage package that you can install called Trail Shred, which allows you to play audio in different situations. So um, once you've installed this package, again, I'll put a link to it. Uh, you can, you know, install it in the variety of ways listed here. Then you should, in your installed packages, end up seeing the Trail Shred audio player. Great. If you see that, wonderful. Um, I can just quickly go over the code because I feel like it would be weird for me to not look at code at all in my video. But basically what it does is it pulls in... Um, you know, you, you put this lightning web component on your page layout, and this is the, uh, or your lightning app record page, rather, and this is the code in here. Um, basically, it just kind of grabs your metadata, your custom metadata values, uh, sees if your record has been updated in a way that matches one of those custom metadata values, and then it plays the, um, down here, it plays the audio that it loads in from the static resource file that we'll upload here in a second. Anyway, I won't go over it all. It's relatively simple. Um, it's well documented if you're interested in how it works. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it anyway. I won't go over it in depth because that's not the point of this video anyway. Most of my videos though, it is. So um, we've got the Trail Shred audio player installed. We've already got our confetti set up. And uh, let's make ourselves a static resource with the uh, cool audio that you just heard. So I made some Taco Bell audio because I'm a guy that likes Taco Bell. It's right down the street. Um, I got a Taco Bell dog back there on my shelf that you may or may not be able to see. And um, I eat it way too much. So we won't go over that. Um, but basically what you're going to do is upload an audio file that's preferably less than five megabytes um, and, you know, relatively short so that it doesn't play forever for these people uh, that maybe hear it <laughs> or don't. I don't know. Um, or, you know, maybe upload a whole song and irritate them through their whole day. It's up to you. Uh, anyway. So basically, you're just going to go into static resources and upload this audio file, whatever you want it to be. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, and then, once you've uploaded your audio file, copy this name, right? And we're going to uh, copy the name of the static resource, that is. And then let's go to custom metadata. And in custom metadata, we should see the trail shred settings. And you can click Manage Records. And you'll create a new record. And basically, um, what it'll allow you to do is put the audio static resource path. That is literally just the name of the static resource that we just made. And you'll be able to find any object uh, within the system, uh, you know, that's a standard or a custom object that's, you know, read write accessible. And the you know, any field on one of those objects. So, you know, if we wanted to do this on the uh, case origin or something, you could do that, which is cool. So basically it can trigger on any field change with any value on that field. So maybe you just want to make this some kind of Easter egg. Uh, you could, you know, have uh, the accounts, account name be equal to Tanya or something for the audio to play. I don't know. Um, and you can name the label in the in whatever you want. 
and the settings name if you didn't know is just uh, basically the API name so there you go that's as hard as the audio setup gets uh, truly that's it <laughs> so I've already got a um, version in here that allows me to play uh, the Taco Bell audio that you just heard a minute ago when the opportunity stage is equal to close one which we'll see here in a second uh, yet again and now we're going to go to um, what am I doing lightning app we're gonna make a lightning app page or update an existing one so we're gonna go to the lightning app builder and I've got this opportunity bangers uh, lightning page that I will go into if you've never created one of these then um, I guess you're not using lightning very often but let me show you the two elements that are important to put on this page after you've created whatever lightning app page it is that um, you plan to put these celebrations on <laughs> so uh, the one thing that we'll need is a path obviously because that's where the confetti comes from so we'll get the path and um, you can see that because I only have one path um, or because I have this path on the opportunity this is the oh, I can say these words hang on because this is the opportunity object or record page that I'm putting this on it's grabbing the opportunity path that we made and um, showing it here and after we've placed this path on here you are done that's it um, the next thing that we'll do is type in audio and you can see there is this trail shred audio player lightning web component and you'll want to stick that down at the bottom and it's going to be invisible which is good because there's no reason to see anything it should just play audio for us when um, you know we close one uh, opportunity so the last thing that we'll do is we'll save this and if um, this is the first time you've saved this you'll want to also do activation um, I have this as my org default I'm not gonna go over everything with a lightning app today someday in the future I'll go over all the different things with um, lightning app builder but today is not that day basically you'll want to assign this um, app to you know the people you're gonna be handing out this wonderful celebration to so again this is my org default so it should save and be on my opportunity page here in just a minute when we check it out and if you can believe it that's it I don't know how long that took me to explain but it takes you about five minutes to set up you know after you hear it the first time uh, and we're just gonna go right back into you know a not closed one opportunity yet and close one it and enjoy this wonderful 1997 Taco Bell dog magic let's see uh, if it works Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yep, and that, that is it. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching the least professional video I've definitely done. And also, thanks for, uh, you know, 737 people subscribing to this channel in uh, just under three months. That's way more people <laughs> than I thought would be interested in all this stuff uh, that I make. So uh, I appreciate it. And um, if you want more Salesforce videos, uh, um, I do at least one a week. Uh, most of the time, they're a lot more serious than this one and a lot more educational but every once in a while I gotta have fun so you know I'll sprinkle these in here and there I've talked too much this video is over enjoy it I'll uh, see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching subscribing uh, means a lot see you later